here. But the Bible says, all the world. How much of it? All the world. Everybody. May become guilty before God. All the world. That's why I declared everybody have to repent now. Everybody. That's right. That's right. I don't That's care right. who you are. That's right. Yeah. All the world all is the guilty world. before God because the world is all in sin. That's right. From pulpit down. There is none that understandeth. There is none that understand. Now in Romans chapter 3 and verse 11. Yes. There is none that seeketh after none God. None that seek after God. They are all gone out of the way. What? They are all gone out of the way. Look at you viewers. Amen. Smoking and drinking and gambling and partying and murdering one another. I look over there at the Gaza Strip. Mm. Yeah. You leaders, that's head of countries, yeah. that's afraid to speak out against Israel. That's right. Hamas was wrong that's right. for declaring war on Israel. Yes, they were wrong. Yes. But it did fulfill the scriptures. That's right. War. There shall be wars and rumors, rumors of, wars. of wars. That's right. Israel retaliated. Mm -hmm. Bible says Hagar mm -hmm. is Arabia. Is Arabia. Yeah. And Sarah is Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Right. Amen. Hagar and Ishmael mm -hmm. have the same father. For it is written. Listen. Now in the book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 22. What is it? For it is written. It's written. That Abraham had two sons. Abraham had two sons. The one by a bondmaid. One by a bondmaid. The other by a free woman. Free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh. That's Ishmael. Ishmael. Uh -huh. But he of the free woman was by promise. Do you hear that? That's okay. Isaac. Nice. Which things are an allegory. Yes. For these are the two covenants. Yes. The one from the Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage. And what? Which is Agar. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia. Yes. And answereth to Jerusalem, which and now answer is. answereth to Jerusalem is what? Which now is. Which now is. And is in bondage with her children. Mm. These are brothers and sisters by blood. That's right. They have the same father, which is Abraham. Abraham. Israel went beyond declaring war yes. against Hamas. That's right. Israel is declaring genocide. That's right. For Mr. What's his name? Netanyahu. He declared he wanted to destroy. All the Palestinians. That's right. He went beyond Hamas. He went beyond. That's right. He want all the Palestinians. That's, That's right. genocide talk. Amen. That's right. Now, bombing hospitals, mm. refugee camps, mm -hmm. neighborhoods, churches, yeah. mosques. That has nothing to do with Hamas. No. And Biden, because he's so scared and devilish weak, he won't call it for what it is. Right. Israel is committing murder. Murder. You know, uh, the Secretary of State, Blinken. Mr. Blinken, he said that he don't want Al Shazir. That's the news channel I watch, moreover. On YouTube, uh, give you the best coverage. He said uh, Al Shazir shouldn't cover the war in such detail. That's the devil out of hell. The press that work with Al Shazir is being killed. They're murdering the press. They're killing civilians. My Lord. That's just running for their lives. Babies. Mm. They are blowing babies' head off. My Lord. Bodies is laying out in the street of women mm. and men. Africa came to their senses and withdrew their support of Israel. Amen. All the countries mm. 
The Palestinian life is just as important as the life as the Jews. That's right. Anytime you put the life of a Jew in, hear me good. Right. Above the life of the Palestinian people. Right. And here it's God says he had no respect, respect of, person. of persons. Use a hypocrite. That's right. That's right. For the whole world. That's right. And God I. All the world. Do you hear this? Back in Romans 3 and verse 19. All the world. May become guilty before God. They are guilty. Guilty. Hamas murdered Jewish brothers and sisters. Jewish brothers and sisters murdered Palestinians. That's right. Who's better? Who's better? That's right, Amen. King. I said, who's better? What then are we better than they? Do you hear this? Now in Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. I'm going to give you a Bible for this. Nine. Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. What then? Are we better than they? Are we better? Here's a, here's a Jew talk. Here's a Jew. Pastor Paul, a Hebrew of the Hebrews. That's right. Came out the tribe that gave Israel that first king. That's right. And was stopped, thank God, on the road to Damascus. Yeah. Light, hallelujah, shining from heaven above the brightness of the sun. That's right. And God spoke to Brother Paul. Yeah. And Saul said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I'm Jesus whom thou yes! persecutest. That's right. It is hard for thee to kick against the prick. Amen. Now listen at this. Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. Apostle Paul said, what then? what then? Are we better than them? Are we better than anybody else? No. No. In no way. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You Jewish brothers and sisters, you're not better than the Palestinians. And anyone say they are, you are liars. That, that's a lie. I see you uh, out there demonstrating around America and Europe. Save Israel. All right. <laughs> Others of you. Save Palestine. All right. All right. What am I saying? Save your soul. Yeah! That's it. That's right. That's right. All right. Thank God, whether you are Jew or Greek, bond or free, there's one thing for everybody to do here. For we have before proved. Do you hear that? Still in Romans 3 and verse 9. We have before proved. Both Jews. Both Jews. And Gentiles. Palestinians. At both Jews and Gentiles. Both Jews and Gentiles that get Palestinians. That's right. That they are all under sin. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Do you hear that? For we have before proved. We both, have before proved. Both Jews. That the Jews. And Gentiles. And every other ethnic group in the world. That they are all under sin. They are what? All under sin. I'm not leaning to nobody. <laughs> That's right. I stand neutral with Bible. That's it. Nice. Mr. Netanyahu. That's and right. You can quote all the Old Testament Bible that you want. That's right. If you don't repent of your evil. Amen. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Which is the name of Jehovah. That's right. Tarry until God fill you with the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Ghost you know. That's right. And walk with what God declared. That's right. You will never, never. step two inches. Mm -hmm. Thank God. God into the kingdom of God. For we have before both proved both Jews and Gentiles. I am declaring from God's word. That's right. That's right. We have Jews out here marching up and down. Save Israel. Say yes. Yeah, save them. Save them. Others of you save Palestine. Yeah, I agree. Save them. That's right. The hostages are on both sides. That's right. On both sides. That's right. Both of you are guilty. That's right. All the Palestinians world. that took hostages and the Jews that took hostages, both of you. That's right. Are evil. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. You Amen. preachers that's trying to side with Israel and think you'll be blessed, you are go to hell. Yes, you will. You better here's Moses. You that is on the Lord's side. That's right. You better give me that quickly now. Yeah. 
I am not on the side of Israel. I am not on the side of Palestine. I will show you whose side I'm on. That's right. Bible says, you that is on the Lord's side, come to me. Come to me. So I stand neutral. Hallelujah. Neutral here. With God. And God's word. Telling the Palestinians and the Jews, you have to come back to scripture. Yeah. If you can't find it, just give me what you got quickly now. In the book of Exodus chapter 32. All right. And verse 26. What is it? Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp. Yes. And said, who is on the Lord's side? That's what I want to know. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. All of you nations that hear me. Amen. Don't, don't be on America's side oh, at no. all. No. <clears throat> don't be on the side of America. No. I'm not on America's side. Right. America is of the devil God knows. That's right. I am not on Israel's side at all. At all. Mm -mm. No. I am not on the side of the Palestinian. That's right. You see, I have to deal with these things from Bible. That's right. Yes. Whose side you on, Pastor Jennings? I'm about to read it right now. Exodus 32 and verse 26. Says what? Who is on the Lord's side? What? Who is on the Lord's side? Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. You that is on the Lord's side, let him come unto me. Amen. Amen. Come on here. That's it. Don't go to Israel. Don't go to Gaza Strip. That's right. Israel, you're hypocrites. You're telling the Palestinians go to a certain part of Gaza. And then you bomb that part. That's How right. in the world they going to run to another part and you're bombing the whole Gaza Strip? Amen. Amen. That's like me telling you, come on this side of the track. There's honey here. Yeah. And you come over here, there's nothing but bitterness and poison. That's right. Women with their babies. That's right. Running for their life. Oh, yes. And they're being bombed on that end like they're being bombed on this end. That's right. And uh, Mr. Biden say, well, we don't want a complete ceasefire. What do you mean? <laughs> We're going right. to pause. That's right. Anytime the world can stop <laughs> and take a break for Christmas. Mm. Am I right, I said? Go ahead. Go ahead. Every time wars going on in the world, <laughs> they stop shooting, stop bombing. That's true. Stop killing for Christmas. That's right. Everybody take a day off. <laughs> That's right. To celebrate a lie. A lie. Amen. A lie have more value to you than life itself. That's right. Go back to where you are now. Back in Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. What Give me good. Then? What then? Are we better than they? Are we better than they? No. No. In no wise. In no wise. For we have before both proved both Jews and Gentiles. We have before. Proved. We have proved. Both Jews. That the Jews. And Gentiles. And the Gentiles. That they are all under sin. Amen. Nice. Nice. Amen. That's what I'm looking at. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank God I'm not looking at a strip of land. No. no. One of my engineers and contractors here is a Jew, uh -huh. born in Israel. Yeah. And he called me the other day, last week, and we went over some things concerning the work here. He said, I have a personal question I want to ask you. What, right. what is your perspective? What's going on in Gaza? Mm hmm. I said, I give you what the Bible said. That's right. I don't care nothing about you born in Israel. I'm no. going to point you to the Bible. That's it. The word of God that was here before there was in Israel. That's right. He said, I think America is behind. I said, oh, no, no. This is, this is one time America didn't start this. That's right. Amos admitted they started. Yeah. And Israel retaliated. Oh, yes. Now Israel went beyond the bounds of war. And I want to see how many heads of countries mm. called Israel and 
and indict them Amen. for war crimes. That's right. Anytime Mr. Netanyahu said he wanted to kill all the Palestinians, yeah. well, that's just no better than Hitler saying he wanted to kill all the Jews. That's right. That's no better than racist Europeans right. saying they want to kill all black folk. Yeah. Language is the same. That's right. You don't look at who mouth it came out of and then downplay it. You want to kill a whole people? That's genocide. That's right. As it is written, there is none as righteous. As it is written. Hallelujah. As it, as is, it written, is written here. There is none righteous. None. None righteous. Glory to God. I thank God for the word. Amen. It put everything in the right perspective. Oh, yes. There's none. There is none righteous. None that's right. No, not no, one. No, not one. There is none that understands. There's none that understands. There is none that seeketh after God. None that seek after God. They are all gone out of the way. What did he say there? Romans 3 and verse 12. They are all gone out of the way. That's my argument. That's right. Yes. So I am not getting in no parade waving a flag for Israel. That's right. I am not getting in no parade waving a flag for Palestine. No. Amen. No. The only thing I'm going to wave is scripture. That's right. And when I wave scripture, it don't take sides with nobody. With nobody. But with God. That's right. Who is on the Lord's side? Oh, hallelujah. Go, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is on the Lord's side? Let hallelujah. him come unto me. Come on here. That's it. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm calling for Israel. That's right. Thank God and every Palestinian that's walking on the earth. That's right. Come over here with God. With God. Amen. Amen. Lay down your guns. That's right. Lay down your bloodshed. That's right. Thank God and pick up scripture here. That's right. When you're on the Lord's side, that's it. You believe what He believes. Amen. You are condone what He condones. He condones. And you won't stand for what He will not stand for. No. All right, go back to where you are, son. We'll go back in Job chapter 28 and verse 28. I want to take my time and soak them oh, good. Yeah. And unto man he said, Behold the fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. Now, uh -huh. the reason why the churches and the world is in the predicament that is in. Amen. No, no fear. fear. No fear of God. More and more and more. No fear. No fear. And they don't mind demonstrating the fear they don't have. That's right. Preachers don't fear God. I look at YouTube and some churches, different conventions coming on. So many conventions. I just click on women up in the pulpit. Click it off. <laughs> click on that church convention. Homosexual in the pulpit. Click it off. Click, click that off. Click on that church convention. Mm -hmm. Choirs up singing with little rainbow badges. Letting everybody know they just they condone homosexuality. Click that off. Click that off. That's right. Click on another church convention. Paul Pitt loaded with women preachers. Click it off. Click that off. No fear. No fear of God before their eyes. What God says now don't matter. Thank God in the ears. That's right. Of the people. That's right. That's why they want to silence this program. That's right. Many right men say, I'm just too hard. <laughs> Hell is harder than I am. Oh, yes. Hey, Amen. You're going to work the God you was hearing this 24 hours a day when you are wrapped with the fangs of hell. And they shall turn away. Burning, burning, burning. That's right. hollering, That's right. yelling, and never stop falling. That's right. All because you're too devilish stubborn. To obey what I'm preaching. That's right. What did he say here? Second Timothy chapter 4 and verse 4. What is it? And they shall turn away their ears from the they truth. They shall turn away their ears. From the truth. From what's right. And shall be turned unto fables. They're doing it now. Oh, yes. No, maybe so about it. They're doing it now. Oh, yes. Amen. I travel the world and everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. People turning their ears from what's written. From they, the truth. 
works. Don't have to be baptized. Don't have to speak in tongues. Right. Don't have to believe Jesus Christ is God. Nothing wrong with women preachers. Nothing wrong with homosexuality. There's two gods now. There's three gods. That's right. The That's fear right. of God That's right. is gone. Gone. There's only a few people in the earth that fear God from the heart. That's right. Just a few. Just a few. And I'm thankful now that the truth of God, hallelujah, hallelujah. is part of that few. That's right. Amen. There are many thousands that's a part of this. But the fear of God is here. Oh, yes. And it's preached here. Oh, yes. And it's going to stay here. That's right. And nobody's going to take it out of here. That's right. That's why I refuse to change. That's right. For anybody. For anybody. Oh, they have offered me so much. <laughs> and I always look at the offer and laugh. That's right, <laughs> and I tell them, anytime you can beat what God offered me, I take it. That's right. No one came close yet. No. Amen. God offered me eternal life with him. Oh, yes. If you can beat that, <laughs> I'll take it. Eternal life with him. No pain. And wipe my tears yes. away. No sickness. And yes, don't have to preach no more. Glory Come to on. God. That's right. The day of the Lord coming. That's right. If you can beat all that, <laughs> i take what you said. Amen. Until then, I'm not enticed or lured or considered by nothing. By nothing. Anything you offer me, if it beats God, then uh, I, I, I think it over. Think it over. If it beats God. That's right. The being that it won't beat, uh, beat God, I won't even consider it at no. all. No, no. All right, son, what is that? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They shall turn away their ears from the truth. And shall be turned unto fables. You know what a fable is? Amen. Something that somebody have made up. So, that's right. Fables have been passed down through generations. Oh, yeah. I remember when I was a child, I heard a whole lot of fables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When a dove landed on your windowsill, somebody died. That's right. I don't care if you never see a dove, somebody still died. That's right. <laughs> I was told if you count 12 stars and go to the end of the block, you'll see a casket. Yeah. I tried it. I was young, I'll never forget it. Summertime. Beautiful, bright night, and count 12 stars. Yeah. I ran down the Oyok Road and looked to my left and right. No casket. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I thought maybe it was on Broad Street. <laughs> so I took off. Ran up the Broad Street, no casket. Mm -hmm. Haven't counted the stars since. <laughs> Amen. I was being lied to on both ends. That's right. They say you walk under a ladder, bad luck. Yeah. A black cask, a black cat run past you, bad luck. Bad luck. Throw salt over your shoulder. That's supposed to be good luck, isn't it? I don't One care up. if you throw salt on your head. <laughs> Either you're blessed or cursed. That's right. Eh? Yeah. That's right. I don't believe in luck at all. At all. Of no kind. I perceive that in all things. I perceive that in all things. You are too superstitious. You're just too superstitious. <laughs> That's right. What is it? For as I passed by and as beheld I your passed devotion. By and beheld your devotion. I found an altar I with this inscription. An altar with this inscription to the unknown, to the unknown God, God. Whom therefore ye ignorantly worship. Wait a minute. How are the people worshiping God now? He ignorantly worship. Ignorant. 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 Him, I declare I unto you. Declare That's it. unto you. God it, that it, made it. the listen, world. Listen, you ignorant folk. Yes. I'm trying by the help of God to get you to see there's one God and Jesus Christ is he. Right. And you need to break off your sins and turn from your evil way and repent of your sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ yes. and accept all of God's way. That's it. But you're too stubborn. Ignorant. Young man, you're too stubborn. Mm -hmm. You like it out there and drinking and smoking and gambling and partying and shooting and running the streets yes. all night long. Amen. You don't want God until you get in the hospital. Right. When you get in the hospital, then you want someone to sing a hymn. <laughs> That's right. 
Uh -huh. That's right. You want your mother to give you a prayer book yeah. because you're on your way to hell. That's right. She come and give you a prayer book and you recite the prayers out the book. You never repent it for nothing. Repent. You can repeat every prayer that's in the book from cover to cover. Yeah. If you never repent, never hypocrite, repent. you're going to hell. That's right. that's right. That goes for you that are here. Oh, yes. That are visiting today. Man or woman. Man or woman. You have one soul. That's right. You decide. You're the, you, you can be your own boss now. Yeah. You decide what you want to do. That's it. Save your soul or die and be lost. Yes. That's it. Won't be nobody in hell tough. <laughs> no. You didn't know that? No. No, you, you want me to be tough here. You're tough here. <laughs> you stubborn here. Oh, yes. You're hard head here. That's right. You don't fear God here. That's right. When you go to hell, oh, yes. give me the book of Mark. Bible said, when thy hand offend thee, yes. cut, it off. cut it off. I want to show you this real good and 